Hey guys, welcome back. I'm pretty sure like um, it's it's only been a couple seconds since the last video for me, but I don't know when it is for you. But it's like it's not been that long. Um, I just thought it's funny that I'm making a separate video just for unboxing. But we're gonna go put this away, our shotgun shell, and um, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So when I got this box, it was actually already like this, and I'm not sure why, because right here usually. This part right here holds, like hooks, this thing in place. So it's very odd that this one was already open. And it was open when I opened the bottom of the box. Um, which is this packaging right here. And uh, I was kind of annoyed. Uh, and you can see that the sides are popped up like that. Popped out because it was squished. It was squished like this from the front and back. So that's why this thing went up. These things are sticking out. But now we're going to take this out of the box. So before we do that, this is what it looks like when you find it at the store. Or if you did find it at the store uh, back in 2018, if you're watching this later on, because Toys R Us is closed in America. Uh, it might come back. We don't know. Um, if it did, there's no point of collecting all these pops because it'll only, there's only going to be more. So right now we're going to pull this and... Uh, I rarely, I seldom open up pops, so this is such a strange experience for me. I opened up a pop before, uh, I think it was uh, Bruce Banner because I needed to fix the footing. So I'm going to open this up right now. Ah. There you go. Alright, I feel really scared doing this. Uh oh, I think I scratched her face. I'm sure some people are going to be like, that's not... It's not mint condition anymore. <laughs> and to me, even to me, it's not. It has to be like perfect, no scratches. I remember I told the guy uh, for, who had a Jeffrey, I said, is it mint? Like, is there no scratches at all? And it had like one scratch and I considered it not mint, but I bought it anyway. And that's why I'm too much of a perfectionist. But this looks great. I'm going to take off this part right here. And uh, that is so cool. So like I said, the detailing is amazing. And... Uh, they didn't have to include include that part of the dress, but they did. <laughs> it's just what it looks like. Let's see what's on the bottom real quick. Uh, I can't even read it. Oh, it just has a code. Never mind. Oh, it says something TA. And this Funko Pop 2017. So this came out a little bit ago. It's 2018 right now. And uh, it's May. That's why you couldn't even find this. I actually found one of these. When Toys R Us was first closing down, I didn't buy it because I didn't know which one was rare. And I didn't know which one just came out. And this one, you know, has been out, so people have bought it up. And that might have been one of the only copies left. Uh, this is actually really, really good quality pop to me. And we can show you guys the fiery looking hair that I don't know much about because I don't... Well, I didn't really watch the show that much. And I only remember Sailor Moon. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and Tuxedo Mask. And I thought he was lame. And so here you can see there is right there. Um, the red looks really, really good. It's like really vibrant. And then let me see if I can. So yeah, you can actually see right here. They added that detail right there too. Like that's a. <laughs> That's very interesting on her shoulder. And then, let me see. Can't get this to focus. And uh, this is cool. I like this thing right here. And let me see if I can zoom out. Yeah, it's super quiet. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it's just, it feels so strange doing this. I swear, even, especially at this age. Let me see, can I actually move? I can't move her arms. Yeah, I can't. And then, you know, sometimes it's funny. Sometimes the pops, they have like the spring. And it's like, you know, bobbling and everything like that. But this one is like super stiff on there. Look. I'm going to make it clear for you guys to see. Look at that. It's like stuck on there. But uh, to me, the best part of all this, you know, excluding this part right here, which is gray and this, and then... The thing that she's holding, which I don't even know what it is. But the best part is the hair. 
It's like that's what I think. Look at that. That detailing looks great. This has to be like the quietest uh, <laughs> unboxing ever. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna leave right there, and then that way you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So yeah, that's that pop for you guys. And that's what it looks like on that side. And then backwards. Man, that hair is incredible. I think it's so cool looking. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I'm still waiting, and I thought that this was King Aragorn, and I was like, worried. I was like, oh man, the bottom of it got pulled out of the freaking box, and I was like so upset. And then I found out it was just this pop, and I was like, well, at least that's a that's a relief because I'm not really um, into this pop as much. I mean, you could tell like I I almost never take out pops from their boxes. I'm an inbox collector, and uh, I usually don't take stuff out. And uh, I mean, but regardless, like. I don't even know how many of these pops I'm going to keep because I have so many Toys R Us pops. I'm trying to get all of them, but I can't afford them. So you know how that's going to be. I'm probably going to get them, and then I'm going to send them off into the ether after that, which is pretty sad. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this pop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.